Did you know that some everyday habits could be silently sabotaging your circulation? From the way you sit to the food you eat, seemingly benign routines might be undermining your body's ability to efficiently deliver blood to your organs and extremities. Understanding these habits and their impacts can empower you to make changes that enhance your circulation, boosting your overall health and well-being. Let's uncover these circulation culprits. Number 1. Sitting for long periods. Our desk-bound world often involves sitting for long periods, but this can wreak havoc on circulation, especially in the legs. When you sit, leg muscles don't contract as much, which normally acts like a pump pushing blood back towards the heart. With prolonged sitting, this pumping weakens, leading to blood pooling in the legs. Gravity also plays a role. Blood in the legs needs to travel uphill against it. Muscle contractions and valves in the veins normally help, but sitting allows blood to pool due to weakened muscle action and the constant battle against gravity. Additionally, sitting for long periods can make leg muscles stiff and tight, further hindering blood flow. This pooling of blood and compromised flow can lead to swelling, aching, discomfort, varicose veins, and even an increased risk of blood clots in severe cases. Remember, getting up and moving around every 30 minutes or so is crucial to improve circulation and prevent these unwanted effects. Number 2. Smoking. Smoking is a double-edged sword for your circulation, delivering a one-two punch that significantly reduces blood flow throughout the body. Thousands of chemicals in cigarette smoke directly damage the inner lining, endothelium, of your blood vessels. This damage makes the vessels stiff and inflamed, hindering smooth blood flow and increasing the risk of blood clots. Smoking also throws another curveball that alters the way your blood cells function, making them more likely to clump together and form blockages that can further restrict blood flow. These blockages can lead to various problems depending on the location, including pain, numbness, and even tissue death in extreme cases. Remember, quitting smoking is the single most important step you can take to improve your circulation and safeguard your overall health. By kicking the habit, you allow your body to begin repairing the damage to your blood vessels and blood cells, significantly reducing your risk of these circulation-related complications. Number 3. Wearing tight clothing. Tight clothing like skinny jeans or shapewear might be trendy, but they can surprisingly harm your circulation. Here's why. The constant pressure squeezes blood vessels near the skin's surface, making blood flow difficult. Imagine a kinked garden hose. That's what tight clothing can do to your veins. Additionally, tight clothing can hinder the valves within your veins that help blood flow back to the heart. This squeezing can make it harder for blood to return properly and lead to pooling in the legs. Tight clothing can also be uncomfortable and restrict movement, discouraging activities like walking that benefit circulation. While occasional use might not be a problem, prolonged wear of tight clothing can lead to swelling in the legs and ankles, tingling, numbness, or aching. Remember, opt for looser fitting clothes whenever possible and avoid wearing tight garments for extended periods. If you experience any discomfort, loosen the clothing or take it off for a while. Number 4. Being overweight or obese. Carrying extra weight strains your whole body, including your circulation. Here's why. Excess weight forces your heart to work harder to pump blood, potentially leading to high blood pressure and straining the circulatory system. Additionally, Excess fat releases inflammatory chemicals that can damage blood vessel walls, making them less elastic and prone to narrowing. Obesity can also lead to thicker blood that flows less easily. In the legs, fatty tissue buildup can put pressure on blood vessels, especially when sitting or standing for long periods, potentially causing swelling, pain, and discomfort. The reduced circulation due to excess weight can contribute to various problems like peripheral artery disease, pad, in the legs, with pain, cramping, and difficulty walking, varicose veins from weakened leg vein valves allowing blood to pool, and an increased risk of blood clots. Remember, even modest weight loss can significantly improve circulation and reduce your risk of these complications. Number 5. Not eating a healthy diet. What you eat matters for circulation. 
Unhealthy fats and processed foods often contain high levels of saturated and trans fats, which can increase bad cholesterol and contribute to plaque buildup in arteries. This plaque narrows the arteries and reduces blood flow. A diet lacking fruits, vegetables, and whole grains misses out on essential vitamins and minerals that keep blood vessel walls healthy and promote good circulation. For example, vitamin C helps with collagen production, a key component of strong blood vessel walls. Added sugar and refined carbohydrates can cause blood sugar spikes and inflammation, damaging blood vessel walls and contributing to poor circulation. An unhealthy diet can increase your risk of circulation problems like peripheral artery disease, pad, and the legs, with pain, cramping, and difficulty walking, and high blood pressure that puts extra strain on your heart and blood vessels. Remember, filling your plate with fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and lean protein provides essential nutrients for healthy blood flow. Limiting unhealthy fats added sugar, and processed foods can significantly improve your circulation and overall health. Number 6. Dehydration. Dehydration, simply not drinking enough fluids, might seem harmless but can surprisingly affect circulation. Blood is mostly water, and proper hydration keeps it thin and flowing smoothly. When dehydrated, you lose fluids, making your blood thicker and more viscous. This thicker blood strains your heart as it pumps and reduces blood volume, like a river running low during a drought. Less blood to reach organs and tissues means reduced circulation throughout your body. As thicker blood flows through narrower vessels, friction increases, potentially damaging blood vessel linings and raising the risk of blood clots. Dehydration can contribute to fatigue, dizziness, lightheadedness, and headaches. In severe cases, it can even increase the risk of blood clots. Remember, drinking plenty of water throughout the day is crucial for staying hydrated and maintaining good circulation. Number 7. High Cholesterol High LDL cholesterol creates a sticky situation for circulation. It builds up on artery walls like grease and pipes, forming plaque that narrows the arteries, atherosclerosis. This reduces blood flow, depriving organs and tissues of oxygen and nutrients. Imagine a clogged garden hose. Additionally, the rough plaque surface increases the risk of blood clots that can further block flow or break off, potentially causing a heart attack or stroke depending on location. High cholesterol can significantly reduce circulation and lead to problems like leg pain, pad, chest pain, angina from reduced heart blood flow, heart attack from a complete blockage, or stroke from a brain blockage. Manage cholesterol through diet, exercise, and medication if needed to maintain good circulation and reduce these risks. Number 8. Diabetes. Diabetes creates a double whammy for circulation. Chronically high blood sugar levels can damage the delicate lining of your blood vessels, making them stiff and inflamed. Think of your blood vessels as delicate hoses. High sugar levels can damage and weaken them. This hinders smooth blood flow and increases the risk of plaque buildup. Additionally, unmanaged diabetes can affect how your blood clots, making platelets more likely to clump and form blockages that further restrict flow. The combined effects of damaged blood vessels and increased blood clot risk can significantly reduce circulation throughout your body, leading to problems like peripheral artery disease, pad, and the legs with pain, cramping, and difficulty walking. It can also impair wound healing and increase the risk of heart attack and stroke due to potential blockages. Remember, managing your blood sugars through diet, exercise, and medication is crucial for maintaining good circulation and reducing your risk of these complications. Early detection and treatment of diabetes are vital for protecting your circulatory system. Feeling the chill creeping in? Don't resign yourself to a life of icy fingers and toes. By making small changes to your daily routine, you can give your circulation a boost and keep your body feeling energized and warm. So, Ditch the bad habits and embrace healthy tweaks. Your body will thank you for it. You might also want to watch this video for powerful ways to increase circulation to other crucial parts of your body.